I have a problem, or actually, I have two problems. Problem number one, I've got a headless Plex server running at home, and it's awesome. My whole family can stream our movie collection to anything with a screen. The downside, when the server goes down, I don't know about it, until I get a family complaining that they can't get tremors to work. Again, don't ask. Problem number two, I own one of these. The Spotify car thing, or rather the now completely useless Spotify car thing, because Spotify killed it, and I don't even have a premium account anymore. So today, I'm fixing both problems in one shot. I'm going to turn this abandoned little Spotify gadget into a dedicated Plex thing, a display that shows the status of my Plex server right on my desk. And yep, I'm releasing all the code so you can build one too. Now, before we get started, I should address a few things, starting with the elephant in the room, and that being Plex. Lately, Plex has kind of taken a bad turn. It actually kind of sucks right now. They released overhaul to apps that don't even include all the features they have and make things harder to navigate and put too much emphasis on their freemium service, ignoring the server in the process. They've even removed features like remote play when you're out of your house to your personal server unless you pay for their Plex subscription, which I'm not okay with, even though I have a lifetime subscription. It's not great. But Plex is what I have, so that's where I've started. I'm actually investigating on switching sometime down the road, and I might redo this Plex thing as a Jellyfin thing or some other option. Let me know in the comments below if there is a different Plex alternative you prefer that you'd like to see this project turned into. Speaking of, I should mention that this project is inspired by another great car thing project called Desk Thing. And if you want more details about that project, check out my other video on hacking your car thing. Like Desk Thing, Plex Thing exists in two parts. First, we need a helper app on a host machine running Windows or Mac OS. And second, we need an interface to load onto the car thing. And with the data provided through the helper app, the Plex thing will tell you if your server is up, how many movies you have, how many TV shows you have, what's new in the library, and even pop up with a fun little now playing interface that you can expand and shrink as you go. But before I started building Plex thing, a third problem hit me. I am, um, I don't really know how to code. Not beyond a hello world anyways. So I did something that I just knew would make me feel gross and frustrated. I asked ChatGPT for help. And what followed, well, let me show you how that conversation went. Hi ChatGPT. Hi there. Hello. I don't think you're legally allowed to say that. You're gonna get sued by some guy with two first names. Oh, it's on the internet, so I can use it if I want. After all, if it exists, it's fair use. That's not how any of that works. Look, ChatGPT, I need you to help me code something. And keep in mind, I don't know how to code. I'd like to create an interface for the car thing that shows me stuff about my local Plex server. You know, things like how much storage I have available, what's playing, maybe system alerts. Do you think you can do that? Done. Really? Already? That was very fast. Okay, um, ChatGPT, this does seem to work, but you wrote it in Python, and I need this to work on Mac and Windows and be easy to distribute. Can you rewrite this in JSON, please? There you go. Okay, but this is just one piece of paper. Why is there so much less code than before? Oh, that's easy. I just wrote it to be more efficient. That's all. No, no, no. ChatGPT, I just tried running this, and all this creates is a single app with a broken Plex display interface on the host machine. Where is the car thing interface we had before? The what now? The car thing interface. R remember, we're building both a host app and a car thing interface. I need you to remember we're doing both. Well, why didn't you tell me that, you silly goose? I'll commit that to memory so I don't forget. Here you go. Ah, there we go, that's better. This looks like it's working now, except why does this say I only have 500 gigs of storage on my Plex server? I have eight terabytes of storage, and why does it say there's network activity? There's nothing streaming right, and wait, wait, what are these system alerts? There's nothing going on on my Plex server right now. What is this? Oh, you wanted those features to actually work? <laughs> I checked the API, that's just not possible. So I wrote some sample code that just displays fake static data instead. But why would you, what? Uh, 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 ChatGPT, 
I need you to write me real code, not, not sample code that makes fake data or something. If, you, if the feature won't work, you need to tell me that so we can pivot. Don't just make stuff up. Okay, I've committed this to memory. Don't write sample code and do create a car thing interface. Do you want me to rewrite this program with finalized code? Yes, but, but wait, 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 wait. Before you start, I've had a clever little idea. I want to make sure you understand what we're trying to do here. So explain to me what it is you think I want you to do. Of course, we're creating Plex things so you can get your stats from a headless Plex server. But don't forget, you're writing a car thing interface to go with it. Yes, I'll create a car thing interface to go with it. And do you promise that you won't write any form of sample code that doesn't actually do anything? Yes, I won't write any sample code, only finalized code. Scott's honor. Okay, write me the code. Here's some sample code with no car thing interface. Honestly, that's not even the whole story. I went round and round with ChatGPT for the better part of two weeks for hours at a time. I ran through all the limits that even a premium subscription provides. And I can't tell you the number of times that ChatGPT forgot what we were doing, combined things in a way that made no sense, or deleted features I wanted without telling me, or made features that didn't actually work. It really did just fake features that I wanted to have and decided weren't possible. And since I don't know how to code, it wasn't always obvious when it would do those things. Also, it might not be obvious, but this channel is growing fast. If you've liked this video, consider subscribing or better yet, becoming a channel member. I wanna throw out a quick shout out to those who've already joined up. Sometimes I'd be hours into troubleshooting before I realized things just didn't work anymore because ChatGPT forgot what it was doing and deleted whole chunks of code. These are mistakes that no human coder would ever make. But after weeks of kicking ChatGPT to get it to do what I want, I finally got there. So it's just this weird feeling. ChatGTP isn't good enough to replace a human yet, but it can stand in where no human is available. But here we are after weeks of work, Plex thing, this works on Mac and Windows and theoretically could work on Linux, but I don't have the equipment to test that. And I've published all the code you need to do this yourself online. You'll find six cards in the interface, server status, which tells you if your Plex is online or offline, library stats to see how many movies and TV shows you have, recently added data, network traffic, how many active streams are going, and any transcoding details if that's happening. And when you're playing something, a little card featuring album artwork will pop up. Tap on it and expands to reveal more. Getting set up is really easy. First, you have to hack your car thing using Terbium. Check out my other video for a tutorial on doing that. Then you download and install the latest Plex thing release from my GitHub page, link in the description below. This is a brand new unsigned app, so you may get some security warnings the first time you install. Plug in your hacked car thing, open Plex thing, and click push build the car thing. That'll load the interface. While that reboots, you'll need to get your Plex URL and token. My GitHub tells you how. Once you have those in place, click connect to Plex, and then connect the car thing. And voila, a nice looking Plex thing display for your headless Plex server. That's all there is to it. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to turn your car thing into a Plex thing, or if you do want me to try and create something like a Jellyfin thing or another alternative. I have a lot of DIY, create your own tech videos in the work right now, and a few reviews like this interesting AI note taker device. That's it for now, but until next time, bye.